When Did I Stop Loving Me? A hilarious dive into the BBL, blue hair, and my journey back to myself. Mirror, mirror on the wall. When did I stop loving me at all? There it is, a simple yet perplexing question that many women find themselves pondering. We've all been there, standing in front of the mirror, examining every inch of our bodies and wondering, do I really like these things or am I just trying to fit in? Let's dive into this rabbit hole of self-love, body transformations, and the societal pressure cooker that makes us ask, is this really me? The tale of the Brazilian butt lift, BBL. Once upon a time, there was a butt that was flat and humble, and it was quite happy being so. But then came the age of the Kardashian derrieres, and suddenly, a booty transformation was all the rage. Enter the Brazilian butt lift. It's like a fairy godmother spell, but with liposuction and fat grafting. Now don't get me wrong, a curvaceous behind can be a confidence booster. However, when did we start equating our self-worth with the volume of our butts? Are we really enhancing our assets for ourselves? Or are we just trying to keep up with the Kims, Chloe's, and Kylie's? The lip service. Ah, the lips. Plump, juicy, and pouty. That's the dream. Kylie Jenner sold us on the fantasy, and before we knew it, our social media feeds were filled with images of perfectly enhanced lips. But here's the kicker. Do we really love our new lips, or are we just trying to keep up with the Kardashians? There's a fine line between enhancing what we have and morphing into someone we barely recognize. Think about it. Lips are for talking, kissing, and sipping margaritas. Yet here we are, obsessing over their volume like we're prepping for a balloon animal competition. It's like having a conversation with a rubber ducky. Bouncy, but not necessarily better. Breast Friends Forever? Breast enhancement has been around longer than the BBL, and it's just as controversial. Whether it's for a boost in confidence, to feel more feminine, or to fix what nature gave us, breast augmentations have become as common as a manicure. But when your bra size starts feeling like an identity badge, it's time to ask, am I really happy with these new friends, or am I trying to meet some elusive societal standard? Breasts are great, don't get me wrong, they're fantastic even, but the constant push to supersize them is like asking your favorite coffee shop to only serve extra large lattes. Sometimes, a small or medium is just right. Hair to die for. Let's not forget the hair long, flowing extensions, vibrant, exotic colors, and enough weaves to knit a sweater. Changing our hair is fun and expressive, but are we doing it for ourselves or because we feel pressured to look like a walking Instagram filter? The line between self-expression and societal imitation gets blurrier with each neon strand. Natural hair has its charm. Sure, it might not always behave, but that's half the fun. It's like having a rebellious pet. It might misbehave, but it's uniquely yours. The fashion paradox. Now, let's talk clothing, or rather, the lack thereof. Wearing a headband as a top and flaunting every curve can be empowering, but it can also be a desperate plea for validation. Are we dressing to impress ourselves or to avoid becoming invisible in a sea of social expectations? Fashion should be a celebration of our unique style, not a uniform of conformity. A love letter to myself. So when did we stop loving ourselves? Maybe it was when we started believing that we weren't enough as we are. Maybe it was when society's definition of beauty became our gospel. The truth is, self-love is not about rejecting enhancements or changes, but about understanding why we make them. Do we get that BBL because we genuinely want a fuller figure? or because we think it'll make us more lovable? Do we dye our hair electric blue because it's a fun change, or because we feel pressured to stand out? Do we wear that barely there outfit because it makes us feel sexy, or because we're afraid of being overlooked? Reclaiming our reflection. Loving ourselves means accepting every part of our journey, the transformations, the enhancements, and even the doubts. It's about looking in the mirror and seeing the person we are, not the person society wants us to be. Let's stop chasing trends and start setting them. Let's love our bodies, whether they're enhanced, natural, or somewhere in between. Because at the end of the day, the only opinion that truly matters is the one staring back at you from the mirror. So smile, wink, and give yourself the love you deserve. You, my friend, are a masterpiece in progress. Mirror, mirror on the wall, I'm loving me, curves and all. Stay tuned for more laughs, real talk, and heart-to-heart -heart conversations from heart and soul. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all the juicy goodness. And hey, fellas, spill the tea in the comments. 
What do you really think about all this body mod business? We want to hear it all. Until next time, stay heartful, stay soulful, and keep being your fabulous selves.